So I'd like you to get comfortable. Get comfortable in the way that your body is receptive to receiving. And when I say receptive, I mean that it's open, that you're comfortable, that your spine is comfortable, that you're not falling into yourself, but allowing yourself to be upright, and that you can channel spirit in. And there's been a lot of chitter chatter in the room and that's great as we all greet one another and catch up, but we want to quiet that all down now by bringing ourselves right here, present, in the room, and yes, into our bodies. Once again, you want to check into your posture more about being comfortable in your posture so that you're not tempted to fidget. When fidget comes, it's distracting. <coughs> so allow yourself to get really, really comfortable so you're sitting on your sit bones. Your shoulders are over your hips, but you're relaxed and you feel good. Now I want you to start observing your breath. Not to start breathing heavily or anything like that, but just to observe your breath. Make sure you're breathing. Am I breathing rapidly? Slow? Deep? Shallow? And just watch. Now notice any points of tension in your body. Maybe you have a knee that's been bothering you, an ankle, maybe your shoulders have been tight. This is your opportunity to invite your breath into that area. Take a nice deep breath into the place and blow it out. Do that as many times as you need, just so that you're fully relaxing and letting go of any tension that you're holding. As you release this tension, you'll notice your body will make its own adjustments. Suddenly, your chin may lift slightly. 
Maybe your head will adjust. A shoulder let go. But your body is welcoming the release of tension. And as you let go now, you're just going to observe your mind. And now to clear your mind from those thoughts from the day. Maybe the thoughts that chased you in the door. Maybe the thoughts of the day that still haven't fully dissipated. And so now, you're going to invite your breath into your mind. And as you release it, you're going to blow out and release the thoughts of the day. Release all those thoughts from the day. thoughts that had you frustrated, upset, any thoughts of any kind, let them go. So I give myself permission to clear my mind. Clearing my mind. Release and let go. I am fully present. I feel myself solid in my body now, and I am ready to receive. So now I want you to concentrate on your sit bones. That's right, the ones you're sitting on. <laughs> and feel yourself sitting squarely on your sit bones. Holding you upright. And now I want you to get a sense of your coccyx, your tailbone. Just feel your tailbone. Feel your sit bones. And now, from your coccyx to your right sit bone, you're going to draw a line in your imagination. Draw a line. Now from your right sit bone over to your left sit bone, draw another line. And from your left sit bone back down to your coccyx, 
draw another line. Focus on the triangle that you have just created. Your first triangle of the sacred geometry within your body. Now, from your right sit bone, you are going to draw another line up to your belly button, your umbilicus. Draw that line straight up to your belly button. And now, from your belly button down to your left sit bone, draw another line. And from there, draw another line from the left sit bone over to the right. There you have it. Your diamond in your sacred geometry. Your root, your rootedness. This is what holds you to the earth. Now I want you to focus on this beautiful diamond. And I want you to invite your breath into this diamond and initiate more grounded energy with every breath. Begin now. We're going to add a little power to it. And in your imagination, you're going to imagine a bright, brilliant red. And as you breathe in, you're going to imagine that bright red coming in through your nose and down through your body and in to your diamond. Initiate that. And keep breathing it in until you feel that that diamond is full and you feel heat in your buttocks. The more you focus, the more powerful it becomes. The more powerful it becomes, the more powerful you become. Now, 
You'll know when your grounding is intact, when you start to feel warmth in your buttocks, in your legs, maybe your feet, your hands. But the energy will start to flow throughout your body. Now you are going to invite in your highest self, your highest knowing, your highest genius, your highest wisdom. And you're going to invite it in beyond the monad, the twelfth chakra. Picture your highest self as a beautiful white light coming from beyond, beyond in the universe, coming down, 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 down through the 12th chakra, the 11th, 10th, 9th, 8th, and finally it comes to your crown, your crown chakra. Picture that beautiful white light Coming down through your seventh, your sixth, your fifth, your fourth, your third, your second, and your first. As it initiates itself and bonds with your rootedness and Mother Earth. Connecting spirit to earth. So important. Now we are going to initiate the sound to allow the vibration of both We make the sound of Om, taking a deep breath in. Om. Breath in. Just allow that vibration to settle into your body and feel it. Now I want you to focus and bring all your attention to your heart space. And as you breathe, I want you to recognize and observe. Is there a full breath going into my chest? 
or does it feel tight and restricted? And no matter what the answer, no matter what you observe, you can always bring in a little more light. And so in your imagination, you are going to picture the beautiful emerald green. And with that, you are going to invite the emerald green light in through your breath. As you breathe in through your nose, envision the color emerald green and start to fill up your heart space. to fill it up so that it's full from front to back, from side to side. Take your time. Fill yourself up. Invite that healing light into your heart and into your lungs. So that if there's any chambers of your heart that have been left in a void, broken, bruised, untouched, You will breathe that in. Inviting the sacredness of the light. Taking advantage of this time to be one with your heart. Knowing that it's imperative that you heal yourself before you heal others. Knowing that the universe is responding to the frequencies that your heart gives off. And when we speak of manifestation, we know that the word love means you are in alignment with the source, the source, that is where you came from, that is who you are. So take your time and breathe that emerald light in and fill your heart with self-love and self-alignment. So that you can restore your faith in you. And who you really are. 
and how you so want to remember it all the time. Never allowing yourself to be pulled out of who you really are into someone else's drama, into others' negativities, into the strong pull of what other people think you should be or should do. But you remain solid and grounded and knowing that you were created by Source in the wonderment and the beauty of everything that is. And somewhere, someplace, in your imagination, you have the perfect place in your mind where you go when you need to find peace in the world. When you need to find peace of mind, you go there. I invite you to find, to go to your perfect place of self-expression. Allow yourself to conjure up that paradise within you and allow yourself to see it. It is beautiful. Wherever that place is on a mountaintop, in a deep, deep green forest, on the most beautiful white beach, it doesn't matter, it's yours. Allow it to shape itself in your mind so you can remember the beauty that resides within you and that there is only love and alignment in this place and nobody can shake you out of that. Allow yourself to go there now. Find your perfect place of self-expression. And as you settle in, and as you start to feel the joy and the peace of this perfect place, you recognize that manifestation comes from this place. That everything that you have always wanted or dreamed of is coming from this place and only from this place. And from this place of alignment is where the universe hears you 
and respond and brings you what it is that you want. Because that's what Source does. There is no suffering in this perfect place. There is no struggle in this perfect place. There is no hate in this perfect place. This is what you must remember. When you feel out of sorts, when you feel chaos, when you feel negativity, this is the place you must go back to. And it is a choice. For you can choose at any time where you wish to reside. To reside in the material world of struggle and pain or to reside in the spirit world of love and alignment and still be fully grounded, still be fully present to the earth and recognizing that there has always been beauty here. That it is a beautiful place and it is only our perception which comes from lack of remembering who we really are that pulls us back. But you can choose because now you are remembering that everything that you have ever wanted and desired is all around you. You just need to remember who you are and trust that everything always works out for you. That I can have whatever it is that I desire. It's right here. I don't have to wait. I don't have to wish it. I don't have to write it down a thousand times. I don't have to keep on shouting it out to the universe. It's coming from my heart. That vibration that's coming from my heart is sending out the signals. And the universe is responding. So we just need to get out of our own way. We need to allow Source to bring it to us. Action will be taken when we are guided to take it, but not before. We need not run around looking for answers on the outside because all answers are inside. You have the answers. You have the knowing. You just need to be still enough to allow it to speak to you and you can hear it. So listen. Listen now.
imprint this in your mind. See, feel, hear, smell, touch. Raise all your senses so that you remember everything about your paradise, your Mecca, your self-expression, your co-creator, your source. every time that you feel that challenge to get caught up, take a deep breath and initiate this memory in your mind and say to yourself, everything always works out for me. Now we are going to chant the sound of awe, which is the chant of empowerment to our third chakra. And we are going to manifest all of this, all of what you know you already have, and you are going to lock it in to memory to know that it's tangible. It's right here. Allow the universe to bring it. Take a deep breath in. Remember the words, I am. For every time you proclaim yourself, let it be in your greatness. Let it be in your power. Let it be in your truth. Never speak the words, I can't. I have not. Remember, you are pronouncing who you are. Only use words of empowerment. I am powerful. I am empowered. I am co-creator. I am source. And I have everything I want. And everything always works out. So I want you to thank your higher self and for Mother Earth for holding you steadfast and bringing in your light to enlighten you to remember who you really are. You've always been. You have never changed. It's only your mind that has convinced you otherwise. Be thankful for your Mecca, your paradise. Remember your alignment and what the universe is responding to. May 
never allow your heart to wander. Stay in your truth. Namaste. And slowly bring your self to surface. Gently and slowly opening your eyes.